Hello everyone, I am CA Pratik and you are watching the revision lecture for chapter 6 that is set off and carry forward of losses for CA intermediate examinations. Okay, so let us quickly start the revision lecture. I told you that this chapter is one of the easiest chapter as well as one of the most difficult chapter because while learning it seems very very easy but while solving the question only you will get to know what is the difficulty but as and when you practice the question you will get the grip over this chapter okay so what is set off and carry forward i told you in class that when the assessee earns the income then assessee has to pay the tax on the income but when the assessee incurs the loss will the government come and give the money to assessee answer is no if the assessee incurs the loss the assessee can it set off this loss against the other income that the assessee earns okay so if there is an income of uh, rupees 10 lakhs and there is a loss of rupees 5 lakhs both can be set off against each other and only on the balance income the assessee needs to pay the tax this is called set off now what is carry forward sir when the loss is more than the income itself for example if the loss is 10 lakhs but the income available in the year is only rupees 2 lakhs if you set off both each other against each other then the remaining loss will still be 8 lakh rupees this 8 lakh rupees can be carried forward to the next years okay and in such years it can be set off against the next year income this is called carry forward of loss now we are going to study the rules relating to set off and carry forward firstly let us study about section 70 intra head adjustment sir you know what is intra state sales it means the sales within the same state similarly intra head adjustment means the adjustment of losses within the same head of income okay so first let us come to salary head in salary head of income you cannot get a loss hence you need not see any rules now let's come to house property in house property can you get a loss answer is yes so the loss under house property can be set off against the income from house property and there is no restriction for such set off okay so any unlimited amount of money can be set off against the income of house property if it is available during the year now let's come to pgbp loss in pgbp i told you that there are three types of losses first is normal business loss okay then second is loss from speculation business and third one is loss from specified business against under section 35 AD that is those 14 businesses cold chain facility for agricultural produce etc etc infrastructure facility hotel about two star hospital about 100 beds you remember so all those businesses so if there is a loss from speculation business it can only be set off against the profit from speculation business if there is a loss from specified business it can only be set off against the profit from specified business under section 35 ad but however other than these two if there is any other business loss it can be set off against any business income okay within the same head there is no restriction at all so normal business loss can be set off against normal business income it can be set off against profit from speculation business also it can be set off against profit from specified business also so there is no restriction at all okay then i told you about capital gains in capital gains there can be long term capital loss and there can be short term capital loss long term capital loss can only be set off against long term capital gains however short term capital loss can be set off against short term capital gain also it can be set off against long term capital gain also there is no restriction for short term capital loss within the same head of income okay you get my point now let's come to income from other sources income from other sources you have to differentiate between two types of losses first is loss of owning and maintaining race horses okay it can be set off only against the profit of owning and maintaining race horses and if there is any other income from other sources loss okay that is other source loss it can be set off against any income which is there in other sources there is no restriction at all okay so for other sources in loss no restriction however if there is loss from owning and maintaining racehorse it can be set off only against income from owning and maintaining racehorses even this other loss can be set off against income from owning and maintaining racehorse there is no uh, 
restriction so basically in intra head adjustment generally intra head adjustment is fully allowed however only for four types of losses intra head adjustment is not allowed okay first is speculation business loss because it is allowed only against a speculation profit second specified business loss because it is allowed only against a specified business profit number 3 long term capital loss because it is allowed only against long term capital gain and number 4 loss from owning and maintaining race horses because it can be set off only against the income from owning and maintaining the race horses now let's come to inter head adjustment sir sale from one state to another state is called inter state sales similarly the set off from one head of income to other head of income is called inter head adjustment okay so first let us come to salary in salary you cannot have a loss hence it is not applicable now let's come to house property okay so house property loss first you have to set off within the head itself first you have to do intra head adjustment then whatever is remaining you can set off against any other head of income so house property loss can be set off against salary it can be set off against business income it can be set off against capital gains or ifos against anything it can be set off however maximum limit is 2 lakh rupees okay so intra head adjustment no maximum limit so first do intra head adjustment then on the remaining you do inter head adjustment maximum 2 lakh rupees after that also if there is any remaining house property loss you can carry forward such loss now let's come to pgbp pgbp also similarly i told you normal business loss speculation and specified so speculation business loss and specified business loss it is allowed only against speculation profit and specified profit hence inter head adjustment not allowed for such losses now let's come to normal business loss that is any pgbp loss other than those two losses it can be set off against all the other head of incomes no restriction but except the head of salary so pgbp loss cannot be set off against salary income pgbp loss cannot be set off against salary income however pgbp loss can be set off against house property income against capital gain income against income from other sources also okay so i hope you are clear now let's come to capital gain capital gain i told you sir long term capital gain is like rajni short term capital gain is like vijay okay so if rajni movie faces a loss rajni can come to save it okay if rajni movie is facing a loss rajni will come to save the movie okay however no other star can come and save a rajni movie only rajni has the potential to save it similarly if now let's come to short term capital loss short term capital loss i told you it is like vijay okay va if vijay movie is facing a loss obviously vijay can save the movie however even rajni if he comes in the movie he can save the movie so vijay movie if is if it is facing a loss vijay can also save the movie rajni can also save the movie so short term capital loss can take the help from okay can cover the losses with the help of short term capital gain also long term capital gain also however uh, if rajni or vijay both of them if they are going to any other stars movie also they can save the movie so for example if there is power star okay there is power star so if power star movie is facing a loss okay then vijay can come and rescue the movie even rajni can come and rescue the movie or both vijay and rajni can come and rescue the movie so for example if there is a pgbp loss it can be set off against short term capital gain also it can be long term set off against long term capital gain also against both the incomes also however if rajni movie is facing a loss can power star come and save the movie answer is no so if long term capital loss is there okay it cannot get help from any other head of income okay i hope you are clear with the example now let's come to income from other sources income from other sources i told you horse race loss okay it is not allowed to be set off against any income other than horse race income now let's come to other losses under other sources so other losses can be set off against any other head of income no restriction so income from other sources in intra head also no restriction inter head also no restriction but carry forward is not allowed intra head no restriction 
inter head no restriction but carry forward not allowed okay however horse race is allowed to be carried forward horse race loss is allowed to be carried forward now one thing you have to keep in mind that when it comes to the old scheme versus new scheme that is the old scheme that the assessee can opt out versus the new scheme that is the default tax regime in that when it comes to loss from specified business under section 35 ad it is allowed to be set off only in the old scheme it is not allowed in the new scheme that is 115 bac hence if the assessee is opting for new scheme under section 115 bac then set off of the loss from specified business is not allowed moreover if there is any already existing loss that also will lapse it cannot be carried forward also when it comes to house property loss in section under section 115 bac you cannot do inter head adjustment of house property loss in old scheme you can do inter head adjustment up to 2 lakh rupees but in the new scheme you cannot do inter head adjustment hence first you have to do intra head set off and then directly you have to go to carry forward if you are choosing section 115 bac now let's come to the carry forward part okay carry forward part so now generally generally <coughs> if a loss is being carried forward to the next year then after being carried forward okay it cannot be set off against the other heads of income so after carry forward inter head adjustment is not possible however only in case of unabsorbed depreciation even inter head adjustment is possible sir what is this unabsorbed depreciation i told you in class then unabsorbed depreciation is that loss which even the income is not able to absorb the depreciation i gave you an example also in class so for example if the income is 2 lakhs but the depreciation itself is 5 lakhs okay so depreciation itself is more than the income in such case the 3 lakh rupees is unabsorbed depreciation and the balance amount will be the normal business loss that is loss from pgbp okay loss from pgbp so if there is an unabsorbed depreciation okay first thing is it can be carried forward for infinite number of years infinite number of years second thing it can be set off against any other head of income other than salaries so it can be set off against pgbp capital gain okay other sources anything except salary head this is unabsorbed depreciation now let's come to loss from house property loss from house property after being carry forward can be set off only against income from house property it can be carried forward for 8 years so till 8 years if it is not able to set off against any income then it will expire then normal pgbp loss so normal pgbp loss after being carry forward can only be set off against income from pgbp it can be carried forward for 8 years time then let's come to speculation loss speculation loss can be carry forward even after being carry forward it can only be set off against speculation income and it can be carried forward only for 4 years okay then specified business loss specified business loss also it can be carry forward okay after being carry forward also it can only be set off against specified business income under section 35 ad and it can be carry forward for infinite number of years that is indefinite period of time then long term capital loss rajni it can be carry forward answer is yes but after being carry forward also it can only be set off against long term capital gains okay and it can be carried forward for 8 years time short term capital loss can be carry forward it can be carried forward and then set off against the capital gain income that is short term or long term capital gain and it can be carried forward for 8 years then loss from owning and maintaining race horses can be carried forward after being carried forward also it can only be set off against income from owning and maintaining the race horse and it can be carried forward for 4 years so generally the losses are allowed to be carried forward for 8 years for 8 years however for two types of losses the income tax act gives the benefit of infinite number of years number 1 unabsorbed depreciation and number 2 loss from specified business so both of these can be carried forward for indefinite number of years and there are two types of losses which the income tax act wants to discourage what are those two 
speculation business loss and horse race loss so for both these losses only 4 years is allowed as carried forward okay after 4 years it will expire okay then i told you loss from other sources cannot be carried forward however only race horse race ho, race horse loss can be carried forward next let's come to winnings loss if there is any loss from winnings winnings means what sir lottery betting gambling award show crossword puzzle etc so if there is loss because of any winnings okay it cannot be set off it cannot be carried forward you cannot set off you cannot carry forward next if there is any income from winnings sir there is any income from winnings against such income no expense is allowed no loss is allowed even if it is winnings loss then also it is not allowed for example gambling after doing gambling the assessee earned some income however the assessee also has a gambling loss so can the gambling loss and gambling income be set off against one another answer is no not allowed the government wants to tax the entire amount of winnings hence the government does not allow any expense it does not allow any loss to be set off against such income similarly if there is any unexplained credit unexplained investment expenditure etc under section 68 69 etc which we studied on which tax is levied in section 115 bbe how much tax are 60 percentage plus 25 percentage surcharge plus cess so totally 78 percent tax you remember the point so on such income also no loss is allowed to be set off so you cannot set off any loss against such income okay then if an income is exempt then you have to ignore the loss i gave you example of agricultural loss so agricultural income is exempt similarly if there is an agricultural loss you cannot set it off you have to ignore such loss next so section 80 says that all the losses can be carried forward only if the return of income is filed within the due date except unabsorbed depreciation and house property loss so House property loss and unabsorbed depreciation if the assessee is having then even if the assessee does not file the return on time still he can carry forward the loss. However, if there is any loss other than unabsorbed depreciation and loss from house property then it can be carried forward only if the assessee files the loss return within the due date to file the return of income. Okay. Next. Sir, if the business is closed, can the loss be carried forward? Answer is yes, it can be carried forward. So, for example, if I have a clothing business and I had a loss from clothing business and now the business is closed, I can carry forward the loss. So, after three years, if I am having a shoe business, I can set off the loss which has been carried forward with the profit of the shoe business. Similarly, unabsorbed depreciation can also be carried forward if the business is discontinued. Even house property loss can be carried forward if the house property is no more. Okay. So you need not see any other condition. You just see the time limit that is 8 years, 4 years, etc. Okay. Then I told you if there is a PGBP income, how will you set off? First use it to set off the current year depreciation, then current year loss, then brought forward loss, and then finally, if there is any brought forward unabsorbed depreciation, you can set it off. Generally, in the set of carry forward of losses, there is no fixed way in which you have to set off or carry forward the loss. You have to see the method which is the most beneficial to the assessee and you have to keep all the provisions in mind while solving the answer. Okay. So, after seeing this revision lecture, solve the questions quickly. Okay. And wherever you are making a mistake, see the material see the answer and try to understand your mistakes you will not go wrong in the exam hall fine so see you in the next video till then take care bye bye